20 nations will passionately fling themselves into the Rugby World Cup as it kicks off later this week. It'll be fast, it'll be furious as the world's stars collide at the sports showpiece event, climaxing with the final at Twickenham Stadium in London. The sport began here in the more tranquil surroundings of the English countryside, on the playing fields of rugby school, almost two centuries ago. Much has changed since then, of course, but some things have stayed the same. The current crop of boys practising their sport are continuing a tradition spanning almost two centuries. What is the myth behind how the sport started? Well, the game of football, we still actually call it football within school, was a, a kicking game and you were allowed to catch the ball, to take it in your arms. When you caught the ball, you had to stop, as did the opposition. And you could move backwards as far as we used to take a kick at the opposition's goal. But in 1823, legend has it that a boy named William Webb Ellis, with a fine disregard for the rules, as the school plaque puts it, changed the face of the game forever. Well, never know why, but rather than stopping when he caught the ball, he carried on running thus creating that distinctive feature, which is the rugby school game. And how much have the origins of the game starting here can still be seen in the terminology and rules of the game? I mean, if you think of terminology, words like offside, touch and try, maul, all began on this famous pitch. Try is an interesting one because when you touch the ball down behind the goal line, it didn't score you any points. All it did was to allow you a try at kicking a goal. And in those days, it was compulsory for boys to stand in goal and then on the goal line if you weren't playing. So to kick a goal, you had to kick over the crossbar, which is why we end up with a distinctive feature. The critical thing is that all of these things were run by the boys themselves. So the modern game of rugby is created by a group of 16 and 17 year old boys.